So we're sitting here at the start of Henley Royal Regatta. We've got to be a little bit quiet. It's a very tense atmosphere. I'm here with Gwyn Batten, one of the stewards here at Henley Regatta, an Olympic medalist herself. Gwyn, Henley Royal Regatta is so different to multi-lane racing. Tell me what these guys are thinking when they're sitting there. Well, one of the really big things when you come into the start area is to make sure you get off and get a really good start. And as they come on and come on and get attached here onto the state boats, it's quite a tense atmosphere. And so they've got to try and keep themselves calm and controlled so that they can really focus on making sure they react absolutely on the nail when the umpire drops his red flag. Go! We're sitting here in this little hut right next to the start uh, with a few sort of contraptions in front of us. What are you doing in here? What's going so, on? So we've got a really traditional start here. It's, it's, it's unlike international racing where you have a bucket that comes up and holds onto the front. We're using wires and back markers to line up the bow balls so they're exactly level. You'll see Catherine here. She's radioing over to the state boat boys who are holding holding the boats and she's radioing whether they're going to move back half a centimetre, forward half a centimetre um, and just holding them ready. As soon as she's ready, we go green on the light so the umpire knows that we're ready to start the race. So we're still at the start line, uh, very quiet compared to the raucous banks and I'm joined by a very famous face, no need of an introduction, this is Catherine Granger. What is it like for these guys on the start line here at Henley World Regatta? Yeah, it is incredibly intense. I mean, it's compared to the international regattas we're used to, and, and even to be fair, domestic regattas are usually six lanes. So there's, you know, there's just loads of space across a huge bit of water. Here, you are in a very small atmosphere. It's usually very, very quiet when the race is about to start, and there's just you and the opposition right next to you. There's no even lane dividing you. So it is a very, very special moment to capture right on the start line. How much differently do you have to think about the start? compared to six lane racing? I mean, uh, th there's to some extent more pressure on the steering aspect. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we've got the wind a little bit today. There's a bit of a stream on the river. It means the boat can get pushed around. If you go wrong, you either go into, uh, you know, there's very, very strong wooden booms that separate the outside of the course. You could hit them and it's game over if that happens. Or you go the other way and you can hit the opposition crew. So th the pressure of steering in everyone's mind at the very start, but also as a huge mental advantage. If you think there's only two boats, if you can get ahead in any way, you have control of the race at that point and control of the river, because you then have a bit more choice on where you put the boat. You look back at your opposition, you can watch what they're doing, you can see their game plan. So in fact, the, the mental advantage of a fast start is really important. 